This is Tomahawk and welcome back guys to another video. Now today I'm going to show you lot how to do four simple science experiments at home. It's really easy. All the stuff on this video you will have in your home. If not, it's really easy to get hold of. So I hope you enjoy this video and hopefully I will be able to explain some of the science behind these experiments. So first of all, we're going to be doing the pepper and dish soap experiment. All for this you need is a plate, some water, some pepper and some dish soap. You don't have to use what that brand is. <laughs> so first of all, what you want to do is you want to empty the water onto the plate. Then you want to grab your pepper grinder and then really get as much pepper on here as you can. Really go nuts with it. Grind as much as you can. You really want to cover all this surface area. All of it. Just keep going with the grinding. That's it, Tom. Grind it all in. It's going to look good. Who likes this much pepper on a salad? I know I don't. Bit more pepper, bit more pepper, bit more pepper. Next, what you want to do is you want to grab your dish soap and you want to do a cheeky dab of it right on your finger and then you place it into the center of the plate. Now, what happens here is by placing the dish soap into the center of a plate, it causes the surface tension of the water and it pushes the pepper to the outside. Next experiment we have is the lemon volcano. Now this one's super cool. All you need is lemon, bicarbonate soda, some food coloring, a knife and a spoon. Now this one's super cool, it's easy to do. All you need is a lemon essentially. So what you wanna do first of all is you wanna cut a little bit of the bottom off. Uh, this is mainly because otherwise your lemon's just gonna roll everywhere and how many rolling volcanoes do you actually see? So you've chopped a little bit off the bottom. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take a fair chunk of the top off. Be careful when using a, a knife of this. You don't want to cut anything. If you don't feel confident doing this, get a parent and guardian to do it for you. So next, what you want to do is you want to take your knife to the lemon and kind of like chop it in half and then into quarters just on this surface bit just to kind of break the lemon up a little bit. Then what you want to do is you want to grab your spoon. And then what you want to do is kind of like mash it all up. Get it really, the idea is here is you want to get as much juice as you can out of the lemon. So just really plunge it in, squeeze it, get as much as you can. Really good, be messy with this. It's a nice fun science experiment to do, very messy. There we go, just like that. So next what you want to do is you want to add your food coloring. I've gone with red, you can use green, blue, whatever you want. I want it to look like a volcano, so that's what I went with. Next, what you want to do is you want to get a teaspoon of bicarbonate soda and pop it onto the top. Now, uh, bicarbonate soda mixed with a lemon juice, which is citric acid, be formed together to create carbon dioxide, and that causes the reaction. So when I'm mashing up here with my spoon, it's going to turn this lemon into a volcano. There we go. Now, this had a little bit of a reaction on there. Uh, this was obviously a faulty lemon, so you can do this with plenty of lemons and if you wanted to speed up this little process You can cheat a little bit also smashing it up with a spoon helps uh, I was a little bit cheating here. I did a bit of uh, vinegar now this smelled really weird But it actually worked really well as well. So just give it a mash around you can keep doing this by adding my bicarbonate soda and There we go a lemon volcano Ooh, lemony, 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 lemony. <laughs> Look at all those lemons. Nice little side view there, Tom. Excellent. So the next experiment we have today is another bicarbonate soda and vinegar we're using this time. Now, I used pretty much a full bottle of vinegar here. You can either use malt vinegar or you can use... Um, well, any other kind of vinegar you want essentially here. So I filled up about a quarter of a bottle with. You can see how much vinegar I've used there. So that's all in there. If this smells absolutely disgusting. But next what you need is a, well, you need something to put the bicarbonate soda into the balloon. I used a funnel for this. Um, so you need to first of all get the balloon on the end of the funnel. Nicely just like that. Then what you want to do is you want to grab your bicarbonate soda and kind of pour it in. Now this can be a little bit of a pain. There is easier options of doing this. You can get a spoon and literally spoon it in. Uh, I, I actually did grab a spoon because uh, this wasn't going in just right. I need a spoon. Just make sure you pull the balloon down. Try and trap as much, uh, get as much air out there as possible. Then grab a spoon or a pencil, pen, whatever you want and just kind of smush it in there. Get as much of a bicarb as you can into the balloon. Just like that. 
Then the balloon was absolutely full of bicarb. Then what you want to do is you want to remove the top off this. And then you're going to see what's going to happen. Well, you guys should know what happens when you put bicarbonate soda in with vinegar. But since we've introduced the balloon factor, you guys will see what this does. This, I thought this was pretty cool. Obviously, the more bicarbonate soda and vinegar you use, the bigger reaction you're going to get. I'm going to add a quarter bottle of vinegar here. And here we go. Let's add in the bicarb. Whoa! Look at that. This thing filled up super quick. And another cool thing about this experiment is the balloon stays inflated for a very long time. Look at that. Amazing. So the next experiment we've got here is a really fun, really simple one to do. All you essentially need is a bowl of dish, uh, dishwater, uh, some soap in there, a sock, scissors, and a bowl. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to cut the bottle kind of in half. Uh, I, I, I can't cut things in half, so that's more like a quarter. <laughs> and then what you want to do is you want to get like an old sock, and you want to crumple the bottle up and then put the bottle inside the sock. Pull it really nice and tight on there. You want to have a really flat area, um, surface area on there. So you just want to pull this all nice and tight. Old Christmas sock, why not use that? So, that's nice and flat on there. What you want to do is you want to give it a cheeky dunk in there. Now, you can add food coloring into this as well to get different colored bubbles. I just went with normal. And here we go. This is so cool. It made like a massive fountain of bubbles in here. I absolutely love this experiment. Now let's see if we can do a bit more. Look at that, I think that's so cool. Super easy, super cheap, super simple to do. And I had a lot of fun doing this. How big can you get these bubbles, Tom? Don't do it at the camera. Don't do it at the camera. So guys, that is it for today's science video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this kind of content, then let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a like. But big thank you for watching. And remember, even when science is awesome, you still gotta risk it for a biscuit.